Since her solo debut back in 2006, she writes, composes, arranges, even works as a producer, building her own musicality. Uh, here for Music Stage, well, in January 2021, she came back with a cosy song like a blanket and uh, thanking uh, her very much for releasing new songs to enjoy the start of this new year. Um, yes, joining us for Music Stage, it is the amazing Sonna Jung. Please do say a massive hello to all of our Super K pop listeners. Sonna Jung, I'm so excited to see you. I'm so excited to see you. We have musician Sonna Jung with us who says, Nice to see you guys. And of course, it's nice to see uh, Sonna Jung here as well. Uh, it's been quite a while since we've seen you because um, I think you came back here, it was 2019, June, mm. when you were doing the song. Sem Sem, I remember at the time. 네. How have you been since then? 본지 진짜 오랜만인 것 같아요. 일, 거의 1년 반 정도 네. 됐는데요. 그때는 이제 여름이었고 지금은 맞아. 또 겨울에. 아, 아주 제일 추울 때 오셨네요. 이렇게. 네. <웃음> 아, 어떻게 지내셨는지. 네, 저는 뭐 아무래도 많은 분들이 그러신 것처럼 집 안에서 열심히 작업하면서 음. 그렇게 지냈습니다. Just been that good. So, yeah, um, she came in June, so it was very hot back then, I remember. It was summertime, and now she's come back um, at the coldest time here in Korea. But um, she's been good, of course, like most people, you know, for the past year, especially 2020, um, just mostly staying indoors or staying at home, uh, writing lots of music and creating lots of amazing uh, songs as well. And I'm sure the fans will be very happy to hear that too. Um, also, we've had snow. We've had snow in Korea, which is very exciting. Um, did you see the snow and what have you been doing for that as well? Did you see the snow and what have you been doing for that as well? Did you see the snow and what have you been doing for that as well? Yes. I was very happy to be here. What did you do? I was on the road. 일을 하고 있었어 가지고 그러니까 차 안에서 좀 많이 오래 갇혀 있었어요. 어 저도 그랬어요. 이게 차안 가더라고요, 차. 그쵸. 눈 때문에. 네. 뭐 이렇게 미끄러지기도 하고 아니면 다른 차 사고 난것 때문에 막히고. 맞아요, 맞아요. 네. 차 버린 사람도 많았어요. 차 아, 버리진 않았죠. 버리진 않았어요. 오케이, 다행히. 오케이, 오케이. <웃음> 그럼 큰일 납니다. 예. <웃음> yeah. Right, so she said um, she did see the snow. It wasn't a fun situation, though. She was actually on her way. She was working, so on her way to a different place. And uh, when it snows, and when you get heavy snow, cars can't really go. They're slipping and sliding. You've got car accidents. Some people threw their cars to the side of the road. She did not throw her car away, which is um, good news for all of us. <laughs> uh, excellent. Right, you've been so busy, uh, very busy indeed. You've worked um, on so many different songs. So we've got the song Room for Kim song yus third mini album that was mm. last month uh, last year I mean just a few musicians we can mention uh, uh, Cosmic Boy of course with uh, Kyo Winter mm. you worked with Sejang on Hwabun Plant Jung Eun Ji with Who as well uh, so many different um, artists there 진짜 많은 아티스트 분들과 작업도 하시고 일을 하셨는데요 네 어, 바빠셔서 요즘 좀 행복하겠어요. 네, 감사하게 일하고 있습니다. 그렇죠. <웃음> 네. 이분들 말고 또또 또 많은 많았을 것 같은데 좀 기억에 남는 분들 좀 어, 계시나요? 아, 그 감사하게 불러 주신 이제 한 이렇게 곡을 의뢰해 주신 분들이셨고요. 지금 네. 말씀하신 분들이 그리고 이제 동시에 제 노래들을 만들고 작업하느라고 좀더 바빴던 것 같아요. 네. 네. So she, she was just saying that um I was talking about you know other work you've been doing as well. So this person she was very thankful that they are, they asked her to kind of work to together and, and, and make music together. But also, at the same time, you know, she was uh, in the middle of preparing her own music as well, which is important. So um, I think it was a very, very busy period, uh, 2020, and hopefully uh, this year is going to be equally busy too. Um, also, uh, amazing, amazing news, because at the end of last year, there was this album chart on a major Japanese music website. It was you, Stella Jang and Minsu ranked first, second and third <laughs> side by side. Um, and also, you've got vinyl record released in Japan as well. Tell us a little bit about that. 보니까 일본에서 지금 반응이 네. 아주 좋습니다. 어 그러니까 약간 뭐 실감은 안 나는데 네. 그런 소식을 들었어요. 그렇죠. 네, 신기하더라고요. 네 그리고 2월 달에 네. 어 바이넬 앨범도 발매 예정이라고 네. 들었는데요. 네네. 네. 어, 음, 그 앨범 어떤 곡들이 수록돼 있는지. 여기에는 아무래도 그좀 약간 귀엽고 좀 뭐랄까. 그러니까 빈티지한데 귀여운 그런 곡들을 넣었어요. 음. 그래서 제곡 중에 뒹굴뒹굴이라는 곡이랑 음. 그리고 고양이라는 곡두 곡을 넣었습니다. Okay, okay. So, firstly, she can't quite she she can't quite believe that it's real this reaction in Japan because obviously 
that is a massive, massive achievement. And then in terms of the the, the vinyl record, that's being released um, in February, I think, uh, in Japan as well. Um, lots of sort of cute kind of vintage kind of songs will be on there. So two songs of Sono Jango, which are which are massive. So uh, Tingle Tingle, Idol Idol, and then uh, Koyangi Cat as well will be on that vinyl record. So 요즘도 이제 바이널 앨범도 많이 사고 듣잖아요, 사람들이. 네. 아, 바이널은 또 아주 좋, 좋을 것 같은데, 이월 달에. 네, 제 목소리랑 그 바이닐 사운드랑 좀잘 어울리는 것 같아요. 그렇죠. 딱그 니들 딱 이렇게 터치했을 때, 네. 그 선우정아 씨 목소리 딱 나오면, 아, 저도 하나 살수 없나요? 일본에서만 발매되나요? 아, 근데 한국에서도 구매가 가능하다고 들었어요. 오케이. 네. 좋은 소식입니다. 네. Good. So, um, Sona Jango was just saying, her voice suits vinyl records really well. It's that kind of, you know, when the needle touches the vinyl record, you hear Sona Jango's voice, the, the kind of, I don't know, it's the colour of the, the, the vinyl record, I think, which is perfect. I would like to buy one. They are available in Korea too, I think. So, mm. those of you who are in Korea, you can go and buy um, that amazing vinyl record. Um, now, um, you mentioned the song already, uh, Koyangi Cat. No. Um, now, I think I took part in this one as well. It's been so popular this song as well. 이제 아까 말씀하셨던 고양이라는 곡은 네. 어 이제 일본에서 특히 반응이 아주 좋더라고요. 그건 아무래도 피처링 참여해 주신 아이유 씨 덕분이 아닐까. 아, 그것도 있지만 <웃음> 노래도 너무 좋잖아요. 그리고. 아유, 감사합니다. <웃음> 뭐 그런 노래도 일본에서 조금 이제 아까 뭐 귀여운 빈티지 말씀하셨는데 네. 일본에서 그런 음악 특히 좋아하시 하시는 거 같나요? 네 그것도 그렇고 이제 일본에는 또 재즈 매니아들이 좀더 많이 <웃음> 계신 것 같아요. 근데 그 고양이가 약간 좀 집시 재즈 이런 네. 스타일을 좀 갖고 있다 보니까 음. 그래서 또 좋아해 주시는 것 같기도 하고. 음. 네. Okay, okay. So I think um, the the reason Koyangi Cat is so popular in Japan, I think firstly, Sona Janga says. The featuring artist is Ayu, so that's that's one reason. But also, you know, I, I did, you know, the song is so fantastic. What what do you think? Is it is it the fact that it's a cute and vintage song? Is that popular in Japan? And I think you know, uh, I think absolutely. I think that style of music is quite big in Japan. There's also fans in Japan who love that sort of, um, I guess you could call it a jazz type genre of music. That sort of sound, that sort of song. And I think this song kind of fits. Uh, in that place really well. So mm. it was uh, a perfect match, wasn't it? So clearly getting lots and lots of love. Um, and even more fantastic news. I'll keep talking. 계속 그 좋은 소식 얘기하는 것 같아요. 이 앞에서 <웃음> 너무 좋네요. Um, so you revealed a new song on uh, TV music show's live stage. It's called Ponga in the Bed. Now, we heard you came up with this song, being delighted to see your husband sleeping as well. <웃음> 아, 이 얘기 너무 궁금하네요. <웃음> 일단 어, 동거 신고 너무 축하드립니다. 네, 감사합니다. 너무 좋더라고요. 어. 어떤 얘기인가요? 이게 남편의 잠든 모습을 보면서 행복해서 <웃음> 쓴 곡이라고. 안 아, 꼭 이제 뭐 남편의 이렇게 바치는 그런 러브송이라기보다는 음. 어떤 그 소중한 사람과 함께하는 일상에 대한 좀 감사함? 이게, 이게 아무래도 지금 팬데믹 상황이다 보니까 음. 가족들과 함께하고 그리고 이렇게 일상을 보내고 이런 것들에 대해서 더 생각해보게 되더라고요. 음. 그래서 이게 사실 얼마나 소중하고 감사한 것인지 뭐 그런 걸 생각을 많이 해보는 1년이었었는데 음. 그래서 쓰게 된곡 같아요. 아 음. 좋네요. 사실 지금 이제 사람들이 못 나가다 보니까 음. 더 붙어 있잖아요. 아 그렇죠 그렇죠. 이제 싸우는 사람들 더 많은데 네. 차라리 <웃음> 이렇게 생각하시는 게 <웃음> 좋을 수도 있습니다. 네. 아 그렇죠 이게 아, 물론 네 저도 그런 시기가 없진 않았습니다. 네. <웃음> 있긴 있었어요. 자주 이렇게 붙어 있다 보니까 뭐 그런 것도 있는데 근데 그렇게 싸우고 다투는 것조차 좀 음. 감사한 거예요. 음. 네 그래서 네 어느 아침에 어, 너무 감사하다 그래가지고 어. 쓰게 된 곡입니다. 좋습니다. 동거 이제 많이 들으셔야 됩니다. 사람들. <웃음> yeah, good. So, we were just saying with this song, uh, 동거 uh, in the bed. Uh, so, 동거, I think the literal translation is, is sort of living with someone. So, mm. it's not just about her husband that she wrote the song about. It's about people um, close to you who are precious to you, uh, being thankful to have someone 
uh, by your side like that. And especially in this pandemic era where, where last year was tough, people not being able to go outside, you know, um, this sort of subject is something that she thought a lot about while writing the song. I was just adding also, guys, you know, there are lots of people who are perhaps because they're with their loved ones too much, maybe they're fighting a lot, right? That's quite <laughs> that. I've seen lots of stories like that, but maybe just like this song, Ponga, to be a bit more grateful. I think Sona Jung, as she said, she, she had those times as well. <laughs> but let, let's try to be thankful and grateful uh, for those people precious to us as well. Mm. Uh, well. You know, recently, is there a time when you felt the most happy as well? Oh, 이렇게 지금 일할 수 있는 거? Mm-hmm. 네, 뭐 이렇게 여기 슈퍼 케이팝 나와서 이야기하고 노래 부를 수 있고 mm. 제 노래 소개할 수 있고 이런 이런 뭔가 일하는 일상도 너무 yeah. 감사한 것 같아요. 그렇죠, 그렇죠. 네. Yeah, so happy times for her being able to work, being able to come out to places like Super K-pop, talk as well, uh, come out here and sing for us as well. These these normalities in life, being able to to, to work, I think is a, is a very happy time for her. Mm. Well, um, I think everyone else is going to be very happy today because we're going to be hearing some live music today. So, do you want to tell us about the first song that you'll be singing? Live 곡두개 준비하셨다고 네, 들었는데요. 네. 첫 번째 곡은 어떤 곡이죠? 지금 이제 말했었던 동거, 그리고 In the Bed라는 영어 제목을 가진 곡입니다. 좋습니다. So, 준비해 주시면 되고요. Um, she's going to get ready to sing this song. We've just spoken about it. It's uh, Tonga, the new track, In the Bed, live in the studio for us listeners. So, um, this is going to be uh, fantastic. Okay, so when you're ready, let's take it away. 네.
goodness me. And you can't see this, guys, but everyone outside is clapping. That was absolutely beautiful. Tonga in the bed by Sona Junga, live for us in the studio. I mean, while she was singing, we had so many comments coming in. Shall we have a look and see what's come in? Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, Siska says, a beautiful voice. Love, love, love. Uh, Heyo says, she's so good. She's so good. Uh, what else do we have here? Samantha says, beautiful singing. Um, we've got Juyong says, uh, 동거 라이브 최고 감동 유유. 매일 들어요. 매일매일 듣고 계신다고. 아이고, 감사합니다. This, this person is listening to this song every single day. Uh, Leon says, always a pleasure to hear us sing live. Um, Heyo Cassie says, my heart stopped at that part as well. So, good stuff. Okay. <laughs> Nice, thank you very much. Melly also says such a beautiful live performance. So, you know, all these comments. I'm sorry if I couldn't read out all of them, but uh, they keep coming in. Wonderful. So that was Sona jung who is with us for today's music stage, singing the new song, Tonga, in the bed, uh, live for us today. We've still got plenty more to get through. I mean, uh, we, we did mention um, your, your husband earlier on when talking about this song. In an interview, you said... You would want to be with your husband, even if you go back to 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> that's lovely. Um, let's say if you could turn time to the past or future, to when and where would you like to time travel? 10년 전으로 돌아가던 남편과 함께하고 싶다는 말을 했던데 어떤 인터뷰에서 <웃음> 어, 시간을 과거나 미래로 돌릴 수 있다면 <웃음> 네. 어디로 한 번쯤 가보고 싶은지. 어 과거로 가고 싶진 않은 것 같아요. 과거로 mm-hmm. 가고 싶지 않고 오히려 지금 함께 하고 있는 뭐 남편과 그리고 이제 친구들과 회사 사람들과의 미래가 저는 궁금해서 아, 네, 네, 약간 제가 머리 히끗히끗한 할머니 되었을 때 오. 그때쯤의 미래가 궁금해요. 아마 또 동거 같은 노래 내시고 아마 여기 오실 것 같은데요. <웃음> <웃음> 제가 계실지 모르겠지만 제가 있을지 모르겠지만 슈퍼 케이팝에 어. 같이 또 머리 하얘져 가지고 그렇죠. 네. 좋네요. 좋네요. <웃음> Good. So, Sona Jung there was saying that I think she wouldn't like to go to the past, but the future, you know, her, her husband, um, her friends, the people around her, her, her uh, people in her label and stuff, what kind of future they've got, she's really curious about. So even when she's kind of older with with gray or white hair, what what kind of stuff will she be doing? I think she'll be releasing music. Coming here to Super K-pop, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'll be here. I don't know. Who, who knows, right? But I think that would be great, wouldn't it? So that's the song uh, Twinkle Twinkle Idol Idol by Sona Chunga. And um, Sona Chunga is here in the Super K-pop studio for today's Music Stage listeners. Now, um, we, we've got a message I wanted to read out next up because um, it's interesting. Um, uh, HJT says, uh, so we actually started part two with um, Napal Got done by Hyuna featuring Kim Aid as well, mm. which uh, Sona Jung actually wrote. So that's why we played it for you guys as well. Who knows how to get this to get in? 거기였는지. 어, 뭔가 그 나팔꽃의 그 특성을 찾아봤어요. 그러니까 트랙은 원래 있었고 현아 씨가 그 트랙이 괜찮다고 해가지고 음. 그래서 현아 씨와 그 트랙을 생각하다 보니 뭔가 나팔꽃 그 해랑 되게 상관이 있잖아요. Mm-hmm. 해가 뜨면 피고 밤에는 지고. Yeah. So 뭔가 그거를 현아 씨가 표현하면 너무 예쁠 것 같아가지고. Mm. So 나팔꽃을 찾아봤더니 왼쪽으로만 이렇게 감아 올라간대요. Oh. 그래서 이제 왼쪽 왼쪽 나 왼쪽이 ah. 좋아 이런 가사도 나오고. 어, 그 것은 왜 왼쪽만 갈까요? 그렇게 모르겠어요. 아, 자연의 아, 신비. 그렇죠. <웃음> 그까지 알면 좀 이상하죠, 사실. 그까지 너무 오버했네요. <웃음> uh, good. So the, the song that part got that we just heard in part one to start part two, Morning Glory for Hyuna. So when Sona Jung was thinking about this song, Napal got so Morning Glory, the flower. Uh, it, it's quite an interesting flower, of course, because it, it kind of opens up in when, when it's daytime with the sun and closes when it's nighttime. But also, apparently, it only grows to the left hand side, which is why in the lyrics you see um, like left hand side, left hand side those mm. sorts of lyrics and she thought you know describing Hana like that or portraying Hana like that would be uh, really good so there we go uh, good knowledge there by HJT all the way from Korea um, okay what we're going to do next up guys is um, we're going to be a bit, little bit nosy actually and look into the personal side of Sona Chunga, which is why we're going to do what's called uh, a flex interview okay so before the show 
we asked Sonna Jonga to write down words or maybe draw some pictures or whatever she wants about things that maybe she's good at, things she wants to show off about as well. And we're going to have a look at those one by one. Okay, Flex interview, Chining. Uh, right, let's see. Very simple, firstly. <laughs> Very simple. We got three words here. We're going to start off with uh, number one, 향기, 네. which is like um, uh, smell or scent. 네. Yes, 향기. 네. Mm-hmm. 어, 뭐 어릴 때부터 좀 냄새에 민감했던 것 같아요. Oh. 그래서 그런 좋은 냄새 혹은 뭐 자연의 냄새 뭐 이런 걸 좋아하고 뭔가 이 너무 인위적인 향보다는 약간 그런 아로마 그런 mm. 냄새 좋아하는 것 같아요. Okay, she's very sensitive to smells, okay? Very sensitive to smells, even when she was younger. So she, um, uh, what she does is, is she, she likes to, to make things smell nice, of course. Not anything too strong, but maybe, you know, uh, aromas like the smell of nature, perhaps, or something like that. Um, one thing I've been getting into is these these sticks, which you burn the mm. end of. Mm. Oh, mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Incense? Incense? I don't know. I don't know. I don't Incense. Something like that. Uh, Anyways, those are really good, actually. Mm. They're quite good. All right. So, uh, yes, very sensitive to smell, which is important. Um, okay. Let's have a look and see what else we've got. We've got uh, Sanchek. So, taking a walk, basically. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is not a good thing. 너무 이렇게 사람이 가만히 있으면 답답하잖아요. 그렇죠. 그래서 이렇게 좀 움직이는 게 필요한데 그래서 산책이 딱이더라고요. 음. 그래서 뭐 잘한다 조, 뭐 잘한다고 음. 보기엔 좀 웃기지만 음. 어 그래도 네. 한다. 네, 자주 하고 <웃음> 자주 <또> 좋아합니다. <웃음> 좋네요. Good. So, um, Sanchek, so, so taking a walk or, or moving, you know, for her, she's not one who likes exercising or is, or is good at exercising as such. But, you know, I think um, trying to move around a little bit is something which is important. So it's not something she's saying she's really good at, but um, something that she that she does, actually. Well, what's your favourite kind of place to take a walk then? 어떤, 뭐, 예를 들어, 뭐, 숲속에 산책할 수도 있는 거고, 뭐, 산으로 갈 수도 있는 거고, 어디가 제일 좋으신지? 아, 숲속이면 제일 좋을 텐데, 아, 안타깝게도 이제 도시에 살기 때문에. 그렇죠. 어, 근데 그래도... 그나마 다행인 것이 공원이 집 근처에 있어요. 아, 오케이, 오케이. 네, 그래서 이제 공원 산책을 많이 합니다. Mm-hmm. Right, so I asked about places she likes to take a walk. So it could be like a forest, it could be mountains, you know, we, we like various things. Unfortunately, of course, we're in Seoul right now, the capital city. It's a proper city, isn't it? But um, she's got um, a park which is really close by to where she lives. So for her, that's like the perfect place uh, to do a little bit of that too. Um, okay, cool. All right, let's go to the last one now. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Do nothing. I like this one. 저기에는 막 반짝이 표시도 그려놨는데요. 아, 그렇죠. 어, 굉장히 특별하게 제가 좋아하기도 하고 잘하기도 하는 그래서 특별하게 표시를 했습니다. 뭐 딩굴딩굴이란 노래를 쓴 것도 보시면 아시겠지만 음. 가만히 있는 거, 아무것도 안 하는 거 아. 네, 너무 잘해요. 아, 그래요? 지루하지 않아요. 오케이. Okay. 네. This is, this is very interesting firstly. So let, let me tell you guys, do nothing. She is very good. At doing nothing, basically. She's very happy just staying still, not doing anything <laughs> at all. Um, uh, she's very satisfied doing that. 가만히 제가 못 하거든요 그렇게 아, 저는 그래요? 진짜 5분만 가만히 있으면 네. 막뭐 아, 해야 돼막 터질 것 같은 아... 이런 생각이 있거든요. 오... 근데 가만히 있으시면서 뭐 멍 때리는 건가요? 뭐 생각도 네. 아... 멍 때리는 게 좋아요. 그러니까 뭘뭐 TV를 보거나 음악을 듣거나 이런 게 아니라 음. 아무 소리도 없이 아무런 움직임 없이 어디에도 힘을 주지 않고 그냥 존재하고 있는. <웃음> 네, 아... 그게 정말 완벽한 휴식 저한테는. 아하. 네. 이게 저도 진짜 해보고 싶네요. 사실 해보긴 했는데 가만히 있다 보니까 음. 어 어떤 생각 하고 있더라고요. 제가 아... 몰랐는데 네네네. 이거 어떻게 어떻게 하죠? 그럼? 아 근데 그런 것도 들어오면은 그냥 그 상상도 계속 이렇게 하다가 음. 네 그러다가 또 그냥 그것도 비워내고 또 가만히 있다 그래서 음. 전 존재하고 생각은 들어왔다가 나가고 들어왔다 나가고 음. 그래서 그렇게 되다가 아 내가 이러다가 나무가 되겠다 <웃음> 싶으면 이제 어. 산책을 하는 거죠. 아 오케이 오케이 <웃음> 너무 너무 too much 했다. <웃음> Do nothing too much 했다. 네. 이럴 때는 네. 아 오케이 오케이 오케이. So I'll just saying that. Um, I find it very hard to do nothing. After five minutes, I want to move a 
and do something right. So we were talking a little bit about that. It's, um, you know, it's quite easy. It's good to just sit there relax, and li listen to nothing. Just sit there and think about nothing. And I said, sometimes I think about stuff. Let that happen. Let it go with the flow, listeners. If the thoughts come, you think about them. If I've stayed still for too long, you might become a tree. So you go out and then you take a walk. So um, I think, oh, that's something I might try for this year. Good <laughs> stuff, good stuff. All right, that was our Flex interview there with Sona Chunga. Um, we're going to have um, another live song, actually. Now, one person, Afi from Indonesia, mentioned this one. It says, uh, finally, I get to see Sona Chunga out here on Super K-pop. I've been listening to it for a long time. I enjoy this song, Tomangaja, uh, mm. Run With Me. Her voice is just so good. Um, and I'd like to ask Sona Jung to sing maybe a little bit of Tomangaja. Thank you so much, Sam, and Super K-pop. Afi님은 Tomangaja라는 곡을 너무 듣고 싶은가 봐요. 운이 좋게 오늘 라이브로 불러주신다고 들었습니다. Afi, she's going to sing live this song. So don't worry, not just the chorus, the whole song. So you're very lucky, you're very lucky indeed. Right, so uh, listeners, we're going to hear this live. Listeners, keep your messages and stuff coming in for us. But for now, Sona Junga is going to sing uh, Tomangaja, Run With Me, live in the studio. Okay, 준비되셨나요? 네. <laughs>
들 때까지 가보자 지금 나랑 도망가자 아이고 <laughs> oh my goodness me, that was Tomangaja Run With Me by Sona Junga live in the studio. Oh, I, th- I think, you know, I think we've got lots of people actually writing in. Some people say that they've been shedding a few tears, actually. <laughs> Heyo says, I read the translated lyrics and I actually started crying as well. Heyo님은 oh. 이제 번호된 가사를 보고 들으면서 눈물 좀 흘렸네요, 이렇게. Anyways, all right. Paulina says, excellent. So beautiful. Um, all K says her voice is just so amazing. Elsie says, amazing. You're so beautiful. So uh, lots of lovely comments coming in. Uh, there we go. So that was Tomangaja uh, Run With Me by Sona Junga that we just heard. By the way, this song recently became a, a bit of a, a hot topic through this collaboration. So Day 6 is Young K and Daybreak, mm. actually. Um, have you heard it? Tell us a little bit what you think about this one as well. And this collaboration is quite a lot of fun. Have you heard it? Yes. 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 She definitely heard it. I think that if you watch the the video of it as well, it fits perfectly with the song too. You know, whether it be the the, the wind and stuff like that, the scenery is just perfect. So she she absolutely uh, loved listening to that. Um, excellent. All right. Well, unfortunately, we have run out of time for today's interview with Hana Jung. It's been amazing to have her here with us. Please do tell us about you know things that are coming up, how it's been for you today, and if you'd like to say a last goodbye as well, that'd be fantastic. I should get 이제 인사 시간이 다가왔네요. 이렇게 네. 어, 오늘 어떠셨는지 말씀 좀 해주시면 좋을 것 같고요. 그리고 음. 어, 이제 활동 계획이나 네. 마지막 인사까지 부탁드릴게요. 어, 항상 이렇게 새곡 나오면 불러주셔가지고 너무나 감사하고요. 그래서 오늘도 너무 즐겁게 이야기하다 가고 앞으로 뭐할수 있는 게 아무래도 이제 좀 다른 생각들을 많이 해야 되는 상황이긴 하니까 활발한 공연 활동은 못 하겠지만 공연을 대체할 수 있는 어뭐 컨텐츠들 아니면 온라인 그런 스트리밍 라이브들 어 많이 계획하고 준비하려고 합니다. 그리고 음. 이제 외부 작업도 많이 할것 같아서 다양한 그런 음악들 기대해 주시면 감사하겠습니다. Okay, so that was Sona Jung. I says thank you for calling her out every time she releases new songs, of course. Um, lots of stuff coming out, whether it be um, in terms of promotion, whether it be online streaming stuff, of course, writing with other artists and things like that. Um, yeah, looking forward to it very much indeed. Thank you so much to Sona Jung for joining us today. That's it for today's Super K Pub. I'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. This is Super K Pub. I'm your DJ, Sam Carter. Today, of course, we'll end with another uh, Sona Jung song. This one's called Classic, and I'll say goodbye for now. Now, can somebody thank you?